The Republican-controlled legislature wasted no time fast-tracking a set of bills meant to help rein in Governor Andy Beshear's emergency authority during the pandemic. As I see this legislation, this is about balancing the power between the executive and legislative branch. Senate Bill 1 limits the use of executive orders during an emergency to just 30 days. The governor will now have to ask the General Assembly to approve an extension. Republican lawmakers argued it keeps them more involved in the state's response during emergencies, but Democrats disagree. You can't micromanage an emergency. By its very nature, it's fluid. It changes minute by minute. Some Democrats argued Kentucky's numbers have remained lower than other states because of the very executive orders the legislature is trying to limit. We have 587 deaths per million, while Ohio has 767, Tennessee has 1,011, and Indiana has 1,227. House Bill 1 would allow any business, local government, or school to remain open as long as it operated under CDC guidelines or guidance from the executive branch, whichever are the least restrictive. The bill's sponsor, Senator Ralph Alvarado, said Governor Bashir's orders were often arbitrary and lacking of basic studies. Decisions that were often made that were uneven in their application, decisions that produced confusion and anger, economic destruction, instability, and division. Newly seated Democratic Senator from Louisville, David Yates, said the bill's language was too ambiguous and puts Kentuckians at risk. One of the cornerstones of government is public safety. And if we pass this as is, people will be less safe. 